Media journalist Afia Pokuya, who is popularly called Vim Lady, has been abused by a group of uh, fanatics who attacked her when she went to the National Health Insurance uh, Office, National Health Insurance Authority, to get some information that is necessary for the news. We'll be bringing you update on uh, the attack against her. We're told that uh, she was bitten and uh, her clothes were ripped off including her underpants. Very, uh, very sad situation. We'll bring you up to date with that on today's big story. Now, after what he calls a period of reflection and spiritual introspection, it's so Jamal MP Kofi Oseyamiyao has withdrawn from the flag bearership race of the new patriotic party. He says he's stepping down to support Nane Kufuado. Given that the superdelegates may have, got, may, may have been guided by the opinions of the 141,000 delegates before deciding to opt for a candidate with overwhelming support. The, the first phase of the process may well be a reflection of the bigger electoral college. Now, he's the second of the top five aspirants to step down after second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joe Gatti. But what weight does he carry? Would it really have made any difference if he chose not to step down? How is the Nanado camp reacting to the news? Who is next to step down? This is today's Big Story with me, Stephen N.T. <laughs> My name is Stephen N.T. Now, at the last special delegates conference to prune down the number of aspirants, Othayami polled 16 from 740 delegates who voted. Now, at the time Second Deputy Speaker Joe Gatti announced he was stepping down from the race, there were rumors that Othayami might also follow suit, but he denied. But, and today, he let the cat out of the bag. I'm here to congratulate Nanado Dankwai Kufuado and also to endorse him and ask my supporters to support his cause because I believe that given the what happened on the 31st of August and what is happening now, um, he is the only one that has been able to put the people together and also my consultations with the grassroots would suggest that the grassroots are also in support of uh, his leadership as a, a leader. So on this note, I congratulate <laughs> Thank Nana. You. Thank you. Um, yeah. Congratulate Thank Nana you. and also endorse Nana that I'm willing and uh, able to also work tirelessly until we are able to take power from the NDC in 2016. It's desired that we go forward on a united path to win the election of 2016. That's what I understand is at the bottom of everything that he is doing. So I want, first of all, to thank him on the bottom of my heart for this gesture and to welcome him very much into my, to our fold. He and I have worked together for a long time in this party together. So working together again on a campaign will be no news. Well, so how relevant is this announcement uh, from Oseamia? We have him here. Oseamia, it's great to have you here. Oh, good, and, to um, good to see you again. Yeah, and we should be putting it in context. When uh, uh, Jogate announced his resignation, you actually said you were consulting and still haven't made up your mind. So you didn't exactly deny that you were stepping down. Well, I mean, I don't even know when Jogate made that announcement. That announcement, mm -hmm. but irrespective of what announcement he made, that was an independent yeah. announcement that mm -hmm. he made. Mm -hmm. I had to make my own decision. At your own because, time. Yes, well, I mean, I went into the race with my own um, following, my supporters, mm -hmm. and my own um, um, uh, thinking. Yeah. I, I didn't go in on the prompt of anybody, so I didn't have to follow Joe Gatti. Okay. Okay. Now, I had to look at what had gone on at mm. the Special Delegates mm. Conference. And after doing that, went back 
to my supporters, went back to their grassroots, yeah. those who would constitute the next phase of the delegates, delegates. to find out why they, those who were leading them made the decision that they made in voting mm. for Nanado exclusively he had overwhelming yeah. numbers yeah. and as you indicated earlier that our numbers were so small yeah. that it, were, it was negligible. Yeah. So after consulting and uh, looking at what the party would want ultimately which is winning power in 2016 then unity is paramount. Was key. So that's unity is key. These were all and parts of the introspection you spoke about. Spiritual intro, spiritual introspection. introspection. I said I, I, con I, I, consultation and spiritual introspection. introspection. Yeah. What kind of spiritual introspection? Is oh, well, it I mean, with yourself? With, my, with, with, with myself. Okay. And with the people who voted for you. Uh, for those who voted for me and those who intended to vote for me mm. uh, in the uh, 18th of October. Yeah. Uh, elections and based on party unity and let us make this clear I am not I didn't step down simply because I wanted to further my political interest by going in f to be a flag bearer yeah. without necessarily winning 2016 yeah what the tide seemed to be blowing Nanado's way and in terms of the unity. What would you say to those who will say that you were perhaps coerced into this because I mean immediately after the super uh, special delegates conference there were lots of leading MPP members who were more like appealing for the rest of the contestants to step aside for Nanado even the international uh, the MPP international branch also came out with a press statement to more like appeal to everyone to 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 step aside for Nanado so were you not coerced by all these happenings no I didn't I didn't they didn't give me any particulars of any research or data they had collected from the ground masses of uh, delegates who mm. were going to come into the second phase. So I couldn't rely on, on, anything, the, on, on anything unless I went down Yourself. and did my and you own did that. research and make an informed decision. And you think your decision is good for an adult? I mean, obviously you, uh, my you decision, My aside. decision is good for the NPP. So, but you, but you lent your support to Nanado. So yes, but obviously mean, you want uh, your votes to go to Nanado's side, not Alan, of course. Oh, well, why not Ade anymore? Well, I wanted to actually go in, mm. but seeing the groundswell of the United Party path being given to Nanado, I thought that I needed to right. move on to that unity path because it is only that path. That, that would will give ensure us win, 2016 win. Right. Benefson is joining us. Benefson is a poster and editor and uh, editor in chief of the Daily Dispatch. Good evening, sir, and thanks for joining us. Good evening. Good evening, Chavis, and my good friend today. Mm. Does does this announcement surprise you? Mm, yes and no. Uh, no, because I know that he loves the MPP mm. better than any individual. I mean, he right. thinks that he's bigger than everybody. Which is the right thing, but, right? Yes, but the reason for it, he has a right to. I mean, the fact that he's stepping down doesn't guarantee unity. He can't be in isolation. Mm -hmm. Maybe those who like him voted for him and intend to vote for him is their first choice. So, so, so Ben, I'll, I'll pause you there. You, we've raised a key, key uh, issue here. The fact that he steps down does not guarantee unity. You, you, you are suggesting that his uh, reason for stepping down to ensure unity for the party is not an end to itself and that there is more to be done if the party needs to unite for 2016, correct? That's right. I mean, for example, uh, guidelines that were issued for the aspirants race mm. before even um, 31st October. Mm. No elected executive, regional, national constituency uh, should openly declare for any of the aspirants. Okay. People have come out declaring for a particular candidate. The national executive, they are pretending they have not heard. Have they issued any caution to those people too? Mm. The nine suits were drawn at the national headquarters. The personalities involved are known, and he is a lawyer mm. of many years' experience. This is a criminal act. 
cannot say that it's a fiasco. Mm. Uh, people who have been intimidated have not been even been cautioned. So far, his gesture is in his contribution to the unity in the party. I think that uh, things have boiled to such an extent. Even yesterday, uh, Governor Japan taking on the Constitutional Committee, mm. um, Mr. Ikwe Otu and Professor Michael Kwe, these are things, yeah, you see, there are many factions, my brother, in other parties. But when the party itself does not recognize the allegiance to these factions are causing problems, I should say they pretend mm. when their mother or father is dead and they say they are asleep. Within three, four days, when the body starts decomposing, they rise the body to the mortuary. Mm. I think that they must recognize that, yes, it's a good offer, but that will not. If okay. the Alan and Adan Nemo decide to step down today, right. that doesn't mean that there's unity in the past. Right. Ben, I'll, I'll, I'll pause you briefly. I'll give him a chance to react. But I want to ask, there are many people who tend to use numbers to write people down. I mean, I've heard several arguments to say, Osai Amiyao and Adan Nemo and the rest who had low numbers are insignificant in the race. Do you do you think the same that for example that uh Osamia had sixteen out of seven hundred and forty, does it make it does it make it sound like he's insignificant and that stepping back and pooling his uh supporters to to more like lend their weight to Leonardo would not bring any impact in terms of numbers? Oh, not even that, you know, maybe for those who like Osama Mayor first, their second choice is Anado. It's mm. not Anado. Right. The second choice may be Adanimo. The second choice may be Alan. Right. What I'm saying is that all these gentlemen, they can all decide. Akufado needs the floating voters. And I think that the MPP has done themselves a great disservice. They've not looked at the numbers, for right. example, and right. they've not been able to find out why in 2008, like Arthur Kennedy said, MPP <coughs> is adept mm. at snatching defeat right. mm. from the jaws of victory. So I think that the numbers, if Osama um, had gone and out of 145,000, he got 3,000. I mean, Leonardo, everybody knows that Leonardo is likely to is, will win is the margin of victory, which is in dispute. Mm. And when you see mm. what happens, the source of discord that nobody is talking about now. Might raise, you have might raise their head. Right. You will have us in defeat in 2016 if not checked. If not checked. I'll, I'll pause you there and get a reaction from Honorable. Yes. Uh, he's made the point mm. that mine is a step in the right, the right direction. direction. Mm. And that it doesn't guarantee nothing, guarantees anything. anything. And so whatever internal disputes or misunderstanding that we have, a journey of a thousand miles begin with a step. I have made my step. Mm. Now, how significant or insignificant my numbers may be, I am one of the chosen five yes. to move forward to the next And that stage. is significant, you would well, say. Well, I mean, you, are, you, 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 you are the one who is uh, making the pronouncements mm. using those words mm. of significance and insignificance. Or not significant. It is very significant, uh, in my humble opinion, yeah. that going through that process. In fact, I would have wished that process would not have been one man, one vote. Mm. But once we see it as one man, one vote, and the, those delegates being the top hierarchy of our party who are in control of those at the base, and having gone down to the base, and they are telling me that they want power in 2016 and have directed those 750 to take a particular path, mm. then it I would be a fool, excuse me to say, not to not follow to, in that not path. To, not to follow on that path so that 2016 we get power. Right, let, let, my, let my me, preoccupation yeah. mm. is winning, winning the, the election for 20, 2016 for the MPP. for the MPP and not my personal personal interest interest now you that mentioned earlier when i i raised the point of why not alan when i was asking you know uh, how 
you lend your support to to the NADO. You also asked me why not mm -hmm. a dining mode. Yes, and why so, not myself? Yeah. So why don't I move forward? Yeah. That, so so that, what informed the decision not that, to, for example, lend your support to the NADO or a dynamo? Is it still the collective interest of the party? Of course. I mean the trend. You can see Alan got what 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 numbers did Alan get? About uh, a, a few, a few hundred. Uh, because few, a few hundred. Uh, he got less than uh, I think fifty-eight or so. That's or, right. Or, or, yeah, how do you how do you, how do you, how do you term that? Mm. Is it significant or insignificant? If you say that that worked out to be about seven percent. Yeah. Right. Now, where do you see the United Path moving? Uh, those on the United Path. Those on the United Path from seven hundred, six hundred of them are moving on a particular direction. Now, how can those of us with those little numbers moving on another path mm -hmm. go down to work with those big numbers on the ground to upset those that they have directed to move on a So in your path. consultation, did you consult the Dynamo side and the Alan side too? Because they are all we, we, together. We, we've all been, we've been, mm. all been talking. We've and what did been, they say we, to you before we've all, you we've, made your we've, announcement? We've, we've all been... Um, talking I was relying on my numbers at the grassroots and if I wanted to move forward as Ben Epstein has stated I would have gotten more than 50,000 mm. I believe and that could possibly could, upset the numbers it, it, for, it, could, for Nanana. It, it could or it may well not we may never know but what is paramount is the united party that we want to move ahead with to take mm. 2016 mm. and the most important thing at this point in time is that I have taken a decision that I have moved to the first stage God willing I have been right right I've been part of the first five so we're hoping that, that, that other people also follow suit and then oh, uh, well, I mean to the party unity line whether they do or not I wish them well but at the end of the day 18th of October we would the party would make a decision the delegates would make a decision and I would implore all of them f to come on the United Party path so that we go after 2016. Power is what we require right. and nothing else. Right. Let's, let's get back to Ben. Uh, ben Epstein, you're there. Uh, I, I'm looking at it this way, that Adainimo uh, surprised you in the Super Delegate con Conference with the numbers he pulled. Now, uh, when Joe Gatti stepped aside, Everybody began to talk about the rest giving in for Nanado to go ahead with it. Osea Mia has taken a very bold step in what he calls the path of unity for the party. Do you think Alan and Adainimo should also be thinking about towing that unity path if the party is to stay more united ahead of October 18th, uh, October, their, their Congress in October, and subsequently the election? Well, first, I find some of even those who are saying that the results of the 31st August uh, special delegate election should be used as a benchmark. It was the same MPP uh, which I think two years ago decided, or three years ago decided that 2,500 persons mm -hmm. electing a flag that the number was too small, so they expanded it to 2,500. Mm -hmm. Now you want 740 people to decide a flag bearer for you. Two, the multiplicity of candidates for 18th October does not indicate unity. Mm. What will ensure unity post October 18th? Is the things are that the you little, mentioned? Pardon? Are the little things you you mentioned earlier? Yes. Mm. And you see, I think that uh, if this was, uh, my good friend Osama will be very honest, there are these flagrant, flagrant uh, disregard for the guidelines. If you were a candidate, already Nana is your favorite. And you, you, ben, you, seem to, you seem to constantly say Nana is the favorite. You've, you've made that reference three times already. You said that it's obvious that everybody knows that Nanado will win, but it's the margin of win that is, is now in contention. How are you so confident? Do you have some figures we don't have? Have you been able to do a certain poll to know that X amount of the delegates are all ready for Nanado? I would do some informal poll. Mm. And the elections in Tamale actually confirmed the little work we had done. Right. 
The elections in Tamale is a bit more representative in terms of the strength. Mm. Because if you look at the elections in Tamale, uh, two positions clearly give you, uh, gives one the strength of Nana and the anti-Nana vote. If you look at the presidential uh, chairmanship race, if uh, Stephen and Tim and Fred Owari, if one of them has stepped down for the other, I think we would have won. I see. We look at the women's organizer between Tina Mensa and Mausi, I think. If the two of them, one of them has stepped down, uh, Otuko Jama would have won. These are persons right. uh, who are seen to be pro Nana and pro Allah. So right, Ben, ben I'm, I'm afraid that we, we don't have a lot of time. So I want to bring in uh, Dr. Opoku who is a political scientist, on the other telephone line so that we will spread out the discussion uh, a bit so we can wrap up. So uh, good evening, sir, and thanks for joining us, uh, Dr. Opoku Edu. Yeah, good evening. Thank you. Now, uh, what kind of political readings are you seeing in this decision by Osea Miao to step aside? Well, um, it seems to me that uh, he has come to the conclusion that um, the, the outcome of the October elections is almost a foregone conclusion. And therefore, it might be... Um, uh, 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 useless, mm. you know, to spend one's time, energy, and resources in, in, in contesting right. an election whose results are so. It's just being uh, uh, um, rational and then and and, 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 and drop out. Right. Now, um, perhaps it has raised key issues that, uh, making reference to the fact that Osamia was saying that he took the path of unity. Unity is key, but there are other issues, internal issues within the party, which will solidify this unity ahead of 2016 to make the party formidable enough to, to win. Uh, do you think there is more to it than just unity? For example, that if they start talking about unity, it's good, they can win. But what else must be done in order to make sure that the MPP is solid enough to uh, push NDC out come 2016 elections? Well, I mean, the point is that unity is very critical to the MPP. Uh, you remember in '79 when they were divided, um, Dr. Hillary Mann and the People's National Party won the election. Mm. Um, if you put what the UNC and the PSP got together, probably they also would have won. So it's very critical to them. The question, however, is um, the fact that people are going to contest in an election in itself should not bring divisions in the party. It is how it is managed. Right. And the MPP has about two years within which uh, you know to patch up if there are any differences or whatsoever. The question is that if Amiel had gotten about 35% of the vote, would he be stepping out by now? He had less than 2%, 1.5% or so, which is very insignificant. And, and, and I'm sure that it is tactical, it's a tactical move, not a strategic one. Mm. Tactical move to get out, throw his weight behind Nana uh, in, in the, with the hope that um, he'll become part of Nana's um, team and eventually Nana wins part of his government. So do you also see the tide shifting towards Nanado and that all the rest who are still in the contest might possibly just be uh, wasting their time and also possibly just not getting anywhere? I, I don't know how to put it correctly because I'm cautious not to create the impression that they don't yeah. have the democratic right to go ahead with the, the elections. Well, they have the democratic right to go ahead. The other person from Asante um, Mr. Nimo, who surprised everybody, you know, to become one of the five who went through. Um, he, I wouldn't be surprised if he also uh, eventually, mm. you know, steps aside. In that case, it might become a two-man race between Nana and two Alan. Alan is not likely to step aside because he seems to have made an irrevocable commitment to contest. And therefore, it's very difficult for him to explain why he's stepping aside. Mm. So I wouldn't be surprised if he eventually becomes a two-man race. Right. Um, let me get a reaction quickly from you. Uh, well, Dr. Pokwe is saying you yes. wouldn't be surprised if it ends up becoming a two-man race. Well, you foresee this too? Um, I don't uh, because I don't have a crystal uh, ball that I can gaze in yeah. it to see what Adenimo is going to do. But let me, let me make some correction. Uh, my figures were 2.3%. Mm. Now, I decided that I will not move forward, even though we were to, they were to bring five to contest, and I was one of the, I, I'm one of the five. So, however so you see, however, statistically, however you, you see, not insignificant. We, you, no, we go back to the 141,000 people there. Yeah. Now, 
So even if the, you strike the, the permutation, the, 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 you strike the permutation that could raise would, you some I, numbers. I will have some numbers supporting me. Mm. Now I do not want those numbers and other numbers from Alan Adenimo to compound our difficulties, our difficulty in moving towards a united path. Would you be and surprised if Alan comes out tops instead of Nanado on, on, in the October Congress? I will be. Because you will that, be? Yeah. Why? There's no time for him to go down and, do, and get a showing from 7% against 88%. There is no time and the financial resources that he would require to upset the superdelegates uh, uh, dire uh, uh, directive that majority at the base have directed them mm. towards a path. This, this is very we'll interesting. We'll I'm very, hoping that we can we'll be, get um, we'll Philip be, London, who is we'll, an we'll aide we'll to be, Nanado, we'll, we'll, so we'll be very uh, difficult. He, can, he can quickly react if, to if, this. If, if they had about six months mm. to work, Right, it may be. Then there will then be there, some. There, hope. there will be some. But right now, but how it goes? If you look at the the trend and you look at the, the the what is happening on the ground, I can assure you that I have not taken this decision on a personal basis. And you haven't I taken it lightly. I haven't to, taken it. Have spiritual introspection. Uh, oh, well, it's, right. I quickly uh, want to wrap up with uh, Dr. Pokuedo so that yes. we can uh, give chance for us to get uh, Philip Langdon to quickly react. So, Dr. Pokuedo, I'm grateful for your time, but I need you to tell us one thing. Uh, I just ask a point of question. Do you see the MPP in combat readiness for 2016? Yes or no? Yes, I think. Uh, because they have time, they have three years between now and 2016. Right. So they should be able to patch up whatever right. differences they may have. Right. We're grateful. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pokuedo. And uh, we're hoping that we can get uh, Philip Langdon back on the line to quickly react to uh, one minute, then we will wrap. So, uh, Ben, if you're still there, D Dr. Um, Honorable Samuel is, is, is saying that uh, there's no time for Nanad uh, Alan to make any impact at all. Uh, is it a fair representation of the situation on the ground? No, I think that if even there were six months more, I don't think that Alan would have made an impact. Mm. What I think is that Alan's leaving the country uh, after MPP defeat, he lost quite a bit of traction. Mm. And after October 18th, I think that the elders of the party will have themselves to blame if MPP loses 2016. But they've not lived up to what they should be doing. Is smoothing the little fires that are being lit all over as you and I speak now. Mm. Well, but I said we're grateful. Uh, I'll give the final word I, to. I, I, uh, I, I didn't Ozami. quite. I didn't quite understand <laughs> Ben's uh, argument that, there because uh, on, on, on the one on. on the one hand, if you give him so many, uh, so much time. He wouldn't make any No, but difference. I think he's saying on, the same thing. On the other hand, mm. he says that the leaders of the party has not made the uh, atmosphere conducive for a level playing field for everybody no, to... No, but I think you're misunderstanding him because he's saying, I, I put the question to him based on you saying that there's not much time for right. Alan to make any impact because you will be surprised if he came tops That's instead right. of Nanado in the that... October Congress. And he's, he's more like agreeing with you well, and saying I'm... that uh, Alan had lot traction when after the election he was not in the country, but then made the second point of um, uh, the leaders of the party ensuring... Yeah, well, that's the, part, that's the part that's I didn't, the part I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't mm. understand. It doesn't matter what arrangements they made. Currently, where Alan stands, for him to move from the superdelegates conference with, that, with, with those figures or that percentage and to climb up and overtake the 88%, Mark that Nanado got is a tall order. So seriously, and the writing is on the wall. Seriously, you tell me. Yeah, you would advise uh, Alan Shumantin to honor, do the honorable thing by just stepping stepping aside. No, this is not a, to waste everybody's. No, time. this is a democratic process. Process and path that we are taking. And you think, and that he has think, a, he has a right. You think contesting against Nanado will make the party stronger if he loses? Because losing comes with implications too. I mean, you know in the past well, that when Alan had lost, uh, the responses had been checked and it didn't exactly go too well for the party's unity. That's true, but we all have a, a political leadership ambitions mm. and that we are grooming or nursing it, if not for today, uh, tomorrow. Right. So for me, it's not up to me to advise Alan. Don't forget that I was also in the competition and I'll continue to be in the competition. But the position now is how do we position ourselves towards the future? 
who are the peacemakers, who are the unifiers, who are the right. ones who are moving. Honorable Sammy, I'm party. afraid that, that we've run out of time. And thank you. We're very grateful much. that you could make time. For thank, us. You thank you very much thank for you. coming. And um, I must say that we have been unable to uh, get the full details of the abuse on our uh, multimedia journalist, Ifia Pukuya, uh, very popularly called Vim Lady, who we're told had been abused in her attempt to get some information uh, about news that she was uh, covering about the NHIS. We'll bring you more of this when we get the necessary information. My name is Stephen Antti and we'll, we're, we're, we're wrapping down and we'll bring the interactive segment right after. Stay with us.